What's up, Zombie Slayers? Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is kj 4 a and welcome back to 7 Days Die Alpha 21. We are going to work on the Horde base today. Uh, well, I guess tonight. Uh, the first thing I'd like to do is go to the Horde base and clear it out. Because we are going to be building it at a POI. Should I build a standalone Horde base at some point? Yeah. Yeah, I probably will, but I'm not going to do it before a stable branch. I mentioned this last episode. Uh, I'm not going to be building anything permanently incredible you know crazy until i know i'm not gonna have to restart again uh, so that's that's kind of what i'm looking at here let's go ahead and kill this guy so he doesn't cause me any issues and he's loud you're really loud you know that there we go it's kind of worried i thought i was gonna run out of stamina before he died that would have um that would have not been the best thing in the world okay so this is the only way up to the roof as far as i can tell so I'm going to break this out. I'm going to go up on the roof. We're going to clear the roof first. And then we're going to kind of look around and see what's what. Darn it. Didn't really want to use guns, but also I don't want to be getting hit by those guys repeatedly. One or two hits here and there ain't, pro ain't that bad. But if you get hit a few times, you're really risking some nasty debuffs. Goodness, I got no stamina. All right, hold on, guys. I got no stamina. All right, let's just use some left clicks. I'm going to clear up this roof pretty quick because uh, they will be running soon. All right, I don't know if there's another way up to the roof either. I'd like to kind of look around. Oh, look at this. Well, look at what we have here. That, my friends, is a roaming board. And I don't appreciate it. You gotta go, big mama. Okay. Well, we leveled up, so that's good. Uh, we got here. All right. A couple nice things there. Again, I'd like to clear this out, make sure that there's no way for the zombies to get up here. Yeah, I'm really running out of stamina here because I'm jumping and sprinting everywhere. That's why. It's okay. All right. They can't get up here. I don't see any other way for them to get up to the roof. So if I could just uh, break out that ladder in the front, I should be safe up here, maybe? Now there's this, but yeah, that's broken. They can't get up that way. So what we'll do is we'll come down here and we will break this. It's 500. Okay. I'm just going to do this for now. But I would like a, a better way. Just in case. Because sometimes if zombies go towards a ladder, they can jump on each other's heads. They might be able to get up that. Probably not. But it's not impossible. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this as the uh, horde base. And I'm going to make walkways outside coming onto the roof. And I'm trying to I'm going to try and get all the zombies in a straight line. Yeah. I, I make the first one. Uh... I'll make the first one over here. Yeah, I'll make the first one right here. Let's loot that. All right, so the idea is there will be a walkway coming this way. Uh, do I want to break these out? How much are these? Yeah, they're 5,000. I'm not breaking that out. Let's do something like that. I should be able to break this out. Yeah, that's 500. It's going to be a little bit ugly in the beginning. Uh, these half blocks right here are 5,000 hit points. I'm eventually going to break them all out. But for now, it's not of utmost concern. So I'm going to kill that guy. You know what? You got to go, bro. All right. How about you like that? Oh, boy. No stamina. Okay. He's pretty tough. All right, I'll, give you your, I'll give you your props. You were tough. You were a feral. But not tough enough. So... The idea is the zombies will be walking up a staircase coming up to this platform. Okay. And actually, I could just uh, probably do this here. Uh, I, you know, let's do this. My head. Hit my head. So they'll walk up a staircase, come onto this platform, walk over to this, turn here, go right here, and I'll have a couple hatches here. Should work out really well. I could shoot down this down this walkway and melee here if I want. 
Although they're probably all going to be bundled up here, but I don't know. I kind of like this. Originally, I was just going to have this go straight out, but I think having a turn might be pretty interesting. And I was also thinking about putting a little platform here and have a, um, uh, I forget what it's called. It's one of the turrets, like the, the, the turret that like punches out at stuff and knock the zombies off, off there, which would be pretty cool. Uh, I might still do that. I'm not really sure. Uh, I don't like the idea of having a platform here because I don't want them to step on there and start beating on this wall, but I think it'll be okay. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go home. I forgot my hammer. <laughs> Stop. Hammer time. I got to get a hammer and I got to do some upgrades. I also have to get some iron, uh, some iron ingots, and I have to make some uh, hatches. I'm going to make some iron hatches. And I don't know. I think it's going to be pretty cool. We'll see. It's kind of an old school build design, but an oldie, but a goodie. And it should be a lot of fun. We'll have to see how that goes. Um, it will probably use a decent amount of ammo, but that's okay. Also, I would like to, uh, I would like to see if the trader has a generator and two electric fences. If I can get a generator and two electric fences, these zombies are in trouble really. But if I don't get those, they're going to have more of a, you know, of a chance, I guess I should say probably not much of a chance, but a chance nonetheless. So hatches, how about just two for now? Two hatches might be all I need. And then what I need to do is I need to bring out what I need to repair the hatches and I need to have stuff to repair the, um, which is, I mean, honestly, they're going to be concrete. The, 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 the floor, the like walls at the end where there's going to be the, the hatches, that's all going to be concrete, which is really, really cool. As a matter of fact, I should probably grab the concrete as well. And I didn't even grab the hammer. I got to stop talking to you guys because when I talk to you guys, I just miss so much. I'm going to start upgrading up here. And I've got a pretty interesting tip that I think you guys have got to know about uh, that I didn't think about until just now. But at least I think about at least I thought about it in time. But man, if I if I made this mistake, it would have really sucked. So if you're upgrading, all right, there's three levels of upgrades I'm going to be doing. Uh, I think there's four total. You go with wood. Wood goes to cobblestone. Cobblestone goes to concrete. Concrete goes to steel. Now. I don't want to, I don't want to waste my concrete on stuff that is not necessary for concrete. So if you're not going to be upgrading the concrete, get the concrete out of your inventory. You will accidentally upgrade it. It's just a matter of time. So I'm going to be very careful with, you know, the way I'm upgrading right now, but, um, I do have to get this concrete out of my inventory. Um, I don't have anywhere to put it. I'm making a chest, but I've got other things being made first. There we go. Looking pretty slick. Right, like that. And then what we do is we put the these things down like this, facing this way and this way. And now we have it like that. And if that one breaks, we got a backup. Now I have to put down the poles. And the poles are simply called double poles. And they are right here. Pole double. All right, that was close. Go inside. Inside. All right, so now that goes up there. It makes it harder for them to crawl through. Some might still be able to crawl through, but it makes it a lot harder. And then that goes up to there. I could probably even put down another one, like a third one. You know what? I don't see why not. Might as well. So let's make this door a little bit, a little bit longer. I mean, honestly, if they break through the first one, I'm in trouble anyway. <laughs> so, but whatever, it's it's fine. It doesn't even cost that much. Not really a big deal. And give me a peace of mind. I'm going to put the chests over here, at least for now. Put the concrete in there. And let's start upgrading this and this. And now we can start going to cobblestone. Um, okay, so that is good right there. So that goes right there. And this goes to cobblestone. And the one below it's concrete. So it's like it's 5,000 hit points already. Unless I just hurt the... Wait, hold on. What do we need to repair these? Okay, so we do need iron ingots to repair this. We gotta make sure we have iron ingots on Horde Knight. Yeah. At 5 or at 6 a.m., I will go check the traders. I'm gonna probably open trade routes as well today. Honestly, this will this is probably gonna be the last episode before Horde Knight. So I'll take that time and open up the traders and everything. Uh, all right, so that gives me 50. I'm probably well above 50 food, 60 of 123. So 60 plus 50 is 110, so we can eat. Before we go any farther, I would like to make the staircase. Uh, I think I'm gonna make the, the staircase a little closer. We don't need it to be like that 
far out. Not for this kind of thing. Uh, so yeah, that'll work. So we'll come down like this. And like this. How much, uh, how much like redundancy am I going to put down here with the, with these items on the bottom? I don't know. Probably, probably a lot. <laughs> probably a lot. I haven't really decided yet. Okay. So now we need stairs. So let's go ahead and start putting down some stairs. Now this um this will be okay for the first horde, first horde night, but after the hordes start coming in more and more, these stairs could get broken out. I plan to mirror this build or at least something like it on the other side. And honestly, oh wait a minute, no, if I'm gonna do that, well I guess I could mirror it. I don't know, it depends. See, here's the thing: I want to mirror this, but if I'm gonna mirror it, I need hatches here. So basically, the idea is I, I break this out, break this. Out. I shouldn't upgrade this. That's my bad. Um, break these two out, and I put two hatches in here. That way, if if I want to shut down this line, I can simply... I, I probably won't do that for this first sword night, but that's... The idea is to have many of these walkways around the entire roof and with hatches here, and then I could just click these hatches. They'll open up, and this won't be a valid way for them to get in anymore. But I'm not going to worry about this. For, I'm not going to worry about that for the first sword night. All right, so... I don't want to make this... I forget how we did this. I haven't done this in a long time. I think we need to make this wider. And we also are going to need more frames. Well, building blocks. There we go. And yeah, I think the idea is to make this wider. Like, three wide. So, I'll put this right here. That right there. And then I'll do the same thing on the other side. Yeah, I remember. Okay. I haven't made one of these bases in a long, long time. Long time. So we do that, 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 and that. And then we drink. I'm just going to drink twice. I'm going through a lot of drink, dude. For real. Oh, I keep forgetting to check my water. Ah, my dew collector. Damn it. I haven't checked it in a while. It's probably wasting, you know, wasting time because it's like not getting water when it should whatever i'm not gonna worry about it okay there we go all righty so now i think we put this one I, I don't remember exactly how i'm supposed to do this what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take this over here and i'm going to keep these as full blocks and i think one goes there and that one goes like that is this I don't remember. It's been a long time. Let's see if I can figure this out. I did figure this out and having a three wide staircase is too much. It's too much. Let me show you what I got going on here. So what I did was I put two blocks on this side. The staircase is just, you know, normal. And then you just uh, put a regular stair in here like that. Whoops, like that. And then you put one like this, like this, and like this. Then you're going to go to the corner stairs like that, like that. Whoops, not like that, like that, and like that. Whoops. Keep pressing right. I keep pressing left click to put stuff down. I'm not really, I don't really know why. So, all right. So this will be a corner. This will be a uh, corner, corner, corner. And then we go with full stairs. And this is going to give the zombies the least the least amount of resistance to get on the the walkway. That's the whole idea. No matter what, no matter where they're coming from, if they're coming from the back, they should be able to just come up here, like this. Pretty simple. And sides in the front will be just as easy. And it was too big with a three wide, you know, walkway. So, all right, I think that's good. We're gonna go ahead and start upgrading this. Kind of wish I could get a um a nail gun. I'm not gonna lie. But it's a pretty good experience upgrading stuff, too. I'm just a little worried about my cobblestone situation, but actually, let's take a look. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know what? Why don't we just make more right now? Uh, let's make another 500. Easy. I did bring stuff to make extra cobblestone because I, I figured this would be an issue. And I think what I'm going to do now is let's uh, let's upgrade these stairs. And then we're going to go check out the trader. We're going to do the um, the opening trade routes quest. Uh, if I can get what I need here, which is two, two electrical poles and a generator, I probably won't upgrade the 
I probably won't upgrade the trader quest because I won't need to go to the trader right now. If I don't get what I need, I'm going to go to the other trader because I'd really like to be able to get some electric fence up for this. See how it goes, but... All right, that's, that's good enough for now. And where's my bike? All right, let's go check out the trader, guys. I'm going to see. We're going to see what's going on. I'm nowhere near being able to make this stuff, so... Wait, oh. Oh, hello. Didn't even see you there. You're so quiet. You're like a uh, Edgar Ninja. There you go. Yeah, my bike was up front. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're going to see what this guy's got. He did restock, and we have a lot of money. Well, we don't have that much money. I thought I had more than that. I must have bought something. Oh, yeah, I bought the concrete. That's right. Yeah, I bought the concrete. That killed my money. I should probably go home and see if I have anything to sell. But I'm not going to do that right away. Let's see if we got anything to sell in here. In these uh, two chests right here. And kind of stocking things. Oh, maybe not. I must have cleared them out. Probably cleared them out during the night. Get out of the way, stupid things. I gotta see what this trader's got for me. Alright. And... What do you have? Everything's for sale. Even to an idiot like you. Yes, yes. Idiot like me. Okay, the food is not something I'm interested in right now. This is not something I'm interested in at the moment. Uh, cobblestone rocks are free, basically. Uh, I don't see anything there. Forge a headbook? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Oh, my cat is climbing up on my chair. How's it go? Oh, look, an AK. All right. Uh, we've got enough for that. Although, am I being, am I close to be able to make them? All right, now that we're done doing business, Let's take a look and make sure I'm not close. Store. I don't think I am. No, no. I'm not that close at all. Now that I got my cat off my desk, <laughs> let's buy that AK. Oh, boy. Um, wait, did I buy it already? No, it's right there. Okay, good. I was hoping he didn't sell it while I was gone. Oh, two electrical posts. And I don't want... Timer relays. I want regular relays. But I might be able to use the timer relays if that's the only ones I can get. We'll have to see. Doesn't have a generator. That's a shame. Oh, nerdy glasses. Yes. We're really getting poor here. Alright. Yeah, let's put the nerdy glasses on. And let's make sure we weren't using anything with the fortitude tray. No, we weren't. So we now got four in this tree, which is, eh, it's okay. It's okay for now. Uh, trade routes. Let's open trade routes and check out the next trader. Shouldn't be that bad. Also, let's see if we have anything to sell. I'm going to head home. And I think I have some stuff to sell. Probably not a ton. Uh, I don't think generators are super expensive, though. So if he has a generator, I might be good to go. If he doesn't, I'm just going to kind of be at the mercy of the enemies. My base is right over here. Let's take a look. Come on, you no stamina having piece of crap. Oh, yeah, let's... Oh, I keep forgetting. Do collector. Do collector, do collector, do collector, do collector. I'm not doing anything until I get the do collector. Okay, maybe I will, but I'm not going to do anything else until I get the do collector. Uh, let's go ahead and read that. And let's come over here and check out this do collector. Seems to be full of water because I haven't been... I haven't been collecting it. So stupid. I wish it held more than three, though. <laughs> that would be nice. All right, so eh, we'll hold on to those three because we might need some water. Do I have uh, red? Oh, I do have chrysanthemums. All right, let's make some more uh, some more red tea. I'm not going to wait around for it, though. Here we are at my new trader. Um, I want to loot this place, but it's Horde night, and I kind of want to get back and continue working on the Horde base. I'm assuming I'm going to come out here, you know, more than just today, so I'll loot it another time when Horde night is not upon me. All right, so what do you have? Wow. Actually, I probably would have bought the other one anyway. Um, that's pretty that's pretty nice, though. Uh, the baseball bat is probably not an upgrade. Nah. And right here, machine guns, bows. Eh. Duct tape or glue? No. I'm not going to buy the concrete. I'm too low on money. Yeah, okay. Um, should probably buy that beaker. Honestly, I'm going to hold off for now, though. Uh, knife guy, rifle world, armored up, urban combat 2, cigars. 
I'm buying that. That's not that's not up for debate. Uh, let's go ahead and start selling. Sell, 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 sell. Better take everything I can. And by take, I mean you buy it. Uh, I'm not going to use the tough guy sunglasses, so. Uh, sell all this. All right. Didn't even make that much money, honestly. That's okay. All right. So what else do we have? Um, cooking pot. Animal fat. Probably. Let me just wait and see. Dare generator bank. We're in, we're in business, boys. All right, so here's the thing, though. I don't have relays. I think you can use those regular relays as just as a normal relay, the timer relays. If you just, I'm not, I don't remember. I haven't messed with them in quite a while. Uh, let's go ahead and buy this animal fat. And what else did I want to get? I thought there was something else here I wanted. I don't think. No, definitely don't want the concrete. It's too expensive. Uh, yeah, the beaker. And I think we're looking pretty good. We were really pushing it here, but I saw this airdrop and I was like, well, I got to get it, right? I can't not get it. <laughs> it's not like I can get it tomorrow. I have to get it right now. Uh, there's a couple things I'm concerned about the, the base build. The number one thing I'm concerned is if there's a way for the zombies to get up on the roof that I'm not seeing. That's my number one concern. I'm not going to really have a lot of time to check that out, though. Just going to have to kind of hope for the best. I didn't see anything, but... Doesn't mean they can't. Just means I'm not seeing it. All right. Magazines, range mods. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Let's see what kind of magazines we get. Um, yep, I love the clubs. Harvesting, cool. Wiring, sounds good. And a couple mods there. The mod ones are kind of meh. You know, in my opinion, usually. But I'd, I'd honestly rather get like a melee mod bundle because then you get a chance for the ergonomic grip. Or I guess it would have been good if they if they gave me an extended magazine. An extended magazine would have been real nice too. Let's get some more of this upgrading done. Now, where am I going to put the electric fence? Uh, I don't know. I think like right here. The thing is, I don't want the zombies jumping onto this platform. You know, uh, I don't see why they would. Maybe I could put one here and then one here. And let's see, do I, I don't have the electric fence on me, they're back at base, that's okay. We're going to mess around with the electric fence next episode. Next episode we will have Horde Knight, um, but at the same time, it uh, we will have some time before Horde Knight. I'll like starting a video right at Horde Knight. Yeah, I could probably, I mean, can they get in here? I'm not sure if they can get in here, this is just a shoot through. So I think what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to put some bars in here. There we go. And that's just a shoot through. Okay. It's looking good. Let's get the platform done. That's the most important thing. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. How awesome is this horde base going to be? 10 out of 10? Or is it just like, you know, it's going to fail? Is there something I'm missing? You could tell me if I'm missing something because I'll be doing... Uh, wait, let me think. No, I won't be doing a horde night before. I will be doing a horde night before I see this video. So if there's something wrong and you want to say it, but don't want to ruin it for me, then go ahead and say it. I won't see it before the Horde Knight. So that should be a lot of fun for you guys. And I just have to like kind of mess around with those wire relays. It's the only thing I'm not really, I'm not really 100% on how those, I know the, the wire relays, uh, the timer relay wire thingies, right? Basically you set the time of day you want for it to be active. So I just got to set it to be active during the night and it should be okay. I haven't used them in quite a while. I used to use them for my lights. I'd, I'd make a bunch of lights for my base and then I would set the relay on the lights and I would tell it to, you know, turn on at like 7 a.m. and turn off at like, you know, I don't know, like 8 or 9 or something like that. We also got to use up. I want to use that concrete as well. So we're doing okay on we're doing okay on cobblestone. I'm going to make some more cobblestone because I know I'm going to want more to repair. And I got to make sure that's another thing. I have to like take some time and really concentrate on what I, what I bring with me. I'm going to need stuff to repair. I'm going to need for the electrical fences. I'm going to need iron. I'm going to need iron for the hatches as well. I'm going to, but for the electrical fences to repair those, I'm going to need iron, uh, electrical parts and mechanical parts. So I'm also probably going to put a couple more legs down here. This, this whole bottom part might end up being like a, like just a solid wall. We'll see. Yeah. The cool thing is if they if they do take out these, you know, this walkway, like if they take out the, the 
the pillars that are holding up the walkway, it's not gonna really, I mean, it'll, it'll suck because then I won't be able to do Horde Knight the way I want to. I'll just have to wait for it. I'll just have to wait for the zombies to like do what they're gonna do below me and maybe shoot a couple of them. But the, the Horde Knight will basically be over at that point. Uh, but the good news is that won't collapse. I've had these things where I built them, where I was like, I've had times where I built this walkway and then I built the part I was standing on and it collapsed in the middle of a Horde Knight. That was a nightmare. That was a freaking nightmare. All right, let's use that. Let's use that concrete. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. I don't think they'll jump on that. I don't see why they would. Hopefully they won't. We'll just kind of have to see. And there we go. All right, and grab this. And where do I need this the most? I'm not going to upgrade this. These two to concrete because those will be those will be taken out at some point. So I think this is probably the most important part. As well as this, this, this. And we'll do this one too. And then we probably want to do the stairs. Because the stairs will be the part that might get hammered. Am I 100%? Wait, once I go with this concrete, this thing is solidified, so... I guess we're solidifying it. Because if these stairs get broken out and they can't get up to me, the Horde Knight's over. I'll be okay, but I won't be able to kill the zombies and I won't have fun. I won't get experience. You guys won't enjoy watching it. Um, so I'd really prefer the stairs not to get broken out. How much more do I have? Ah, oh, still a good amount. If you're careful with where you use it, it could last for quite a while. Now, eventually as the Horde Knights go on, I'll get cops and everything. And then once the cops explode, I'm gonna have to start, you know, really beefing up the walkway, but the walkway should be okay. Although I probably should do it, just in case. Yeah, let's go for it. We won't do the end, like I said, because I'm gonna replace that with hatches at some point, but for now, this will be good. There we go, and that's looking good. All right, I think I'm just going to finish up some touches here. Next episode, we will be setting up the electric fences, and then we will have Horde Night. It should be a lot of fun. If you guys end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.